All right, YouTube world, we found Car Wash Mike. How's it going today? I'm going pretty good, buddy. Yeah? How are you? Good. Merry I'm glad, Christmas, everyone. I'm glad uh, we were able to catch up with you, give you your stocking. You see, people? You see, people do good things. Like I'm spending their Christmas home with their feet up in a nice warm house. But they're out here taking care of the people that need it more. This is, this is what you guys do. You guys make life easier for people who sometimes don't know how to make life easy for themselves. Well, thank you. I You're appreciate welcome. the compliment. Sure. Um, so I prepared a couple questions for you. Let's just right. see what we have here. Okay, so your most obtainable New Year's resolution. Find out the information on my new stimulus check and get the old one cashed. <laughs> you still haven't cashed the old one? Two months, people. For two months I've had the old one. But as long as you make a couple dollars every day, you know, you'll always have something in the bank. Do something for yourself first. Everything else will come together. I didn't even think I was going to get a stimulus check. Now I'm waiting for the second. Hey. How'd they get it to you? I had a friend, just like the people that are helping here today, come to me and they say, did you get your check? I said, no. Well, in the first one, they said, well, guess what? Give me your information. Three weeks later, they had my first one for me. All right. Cool. That works out good. Yeah, so now these guys, hang in there with them. They help a lot of people. They really do. So let's see what the Oh, I have one more New Year's resolution. There we go. They get more followers <laughs> through me helping. I hope that's a good resolution. That'd be very nice. Yes. We're, we're doing all right, though. I think we're... No, we can always do better. <laughs> we can always do you better. You see what they do? Help them out. Show them, show them that you care as well. <clears throat> so we get a few comments every now and again. Not again. It's not the most popular comment, but basically people are out here because they don't want to take responsibility for themselves. They're, they're avoiding responsibility that the rest of the majority of everyone else has to deal with. Yeah, a lot. Same thing with me. I just can't, I can't deal with society on society's terms. That's why I'm here. Um, the way things change, they're like new phones. Every six months, there's some new, some new urgency in someone else's life that has a way to trickle down to other people. Me, myself, I don't want to know about anything that doesn't concern me. So I can dictate how I live and, w and do what I want to do when I want to do it. Except for when they come around. If I'm asleep and they come around, I have to get up. Or if they need an interview, I'm there for them. But there's a lot of people out here that just don't, they don't want anything. They don't want to do anything they're not going to. Um, me, myself, when I get the mental issues together, you won't see me doing this again. I'm just, me finding myself for the last couple of years. Let's put it that way. So, let me put you on the spot here. What's the most responsible thing you've done this week? The most responsible? I got up every day, worked for myself, didn't ask anybody for anything, kept my own self clean, fed myself with my own money a few times, and worked every day. I'd say that's pretty responsible. Yeah. That's, that's yeah. great. Oh, and was in the bed every day at 9.30. <laughs> So, what part of living out here has changed you the most, or what has it changed about you the most? It's turned me more into a recluse. People don't bother me. They don't talk to me unless I ask them to. They basically leave me alone. You do not come near this area. It may not look like the best, but you don't come here unless I invite you here. So once I get here, Life ends up stopping because I go in, I play my games on my phone. I don't associate with anybody and it's become, 
the more I'm getting sheltered away from society more. You may think I'm running around and having a ball with a bunch of people, but if they, they'll tell you I'm always by myself. And it's changing me. It's starting to shut me down. So what one thing do you think would put you in a better situation than what you're in? If you Having my IDs. If I had my IDs, I could pick and choose where I live. Now that's another reason why I'm here. Without ID, they put you where other where they think other people like you are. And the other people like me don't choose to be here. They're here because of the circumstances that put themselves here. I can leave here anytime I want. I make enough money in a week, but I blow half of it. I giving it away, smoking cigarettes, buying crap I don't need. Just to prove to people, oh, I'm keeping up with society. So all I am is living society's way on my own terms. That's basically what I do every day. Hmm. I mean, people don't realize I have money. I have money saved. So of all our conversations that we've had together, what would you want people to take the most out of all of like? What point? Don't ever think because I live like this, you can't trust me in your house. Or you can't, or I smell like I came up on the knee someone's car. Or I don't have the brains to count to 50, okay? A lot of these people, or drugs is the main issue why I'm here. Sometimes mental illness, sometimes being tired of society, sometimes you just lose your way because you don't know that there is a way okay these people they love god they believe in god they would like to wake up one day and whatever has gotten them stuck here will leave they really do they really believe that they're going to leave one day some people actually believe they're going to die here me myself i'll take the i'll take the the day in between route whatever happens happens I think there's some here that don't care whether they live or die here. Right, right, it's right. It's gotten right. to that point of depression. Me, me, myself, if I die here, I died under my terms. Do you think you suffer from any level of depression? No, because I don't know. I, I, don't, I can't suffer from depression if I'm antisocial. My thing is I just don't want to be around people. It's not like I'm depressed and I just, oh, life is just going to go the way it goes. No, I I can't even go into a store if there's more than two or three people in a store. It, I just, it's just how it is. I see. And, but you can't dictate me who I am or what I want to do. If I don't want to be here, I'm not. If I want to be here, I will. I'd rather prove that I can fight Mother Nature than you. There you go. All right. Well, Sound good? That sounds great. Anything else you people would like to know on Christmas Day? <laughs> hey, everybody enjoy Christmas, really. You know, we get lost in the gift giving and stuff. The fact that these people came out of their house, that's the gift. This, this camera, that's a gift. Because everyone gets to see things from a different side. You get to see the side of the people and you, I want you people to know, everybody don't do this. Everybody will tell you what a homeless person is like. They're actually showing you something different, something to think about. Sure. Well, you have a Merry Christmas. You too, Hope guys. we helped out a little bit anyway. Man, I'm going back to sleep because I just had to make sure I had my snacks and gifts from these great people. Thank you, guys. Thanks, Mike. All right. Take care. You have a good one.